So hi guys, this is Dr. Anderson, Anderson Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain, and I'm here with Kim. And uh, Kim comes to me and, and with some nerve issues, almost all in her right leg. Uh, we've been working together for a few months now. And the story behind this has to do with COVID and also the COVID vaccine. And so, uh, and as she talks, her voice has been affected. I want you to be aware of that. Uh, but aside from that, it's mainly her left extremity that's been affected. And I'm gonna let her take over the conversation here uh, about how all this came about. A lot of this may be from her, um, her vaccine. And in fact, she's working with a neurologist besides me, correct? Yes. So I'll let her start and take it from January <laughs> of, of last year. So January had COVID and um, it was bad. Pretty and, bad, okay. But it didn't come until June when I had the vaccination. So you had, you had some nerve symptoms or very little? I had some. Pretty minimal. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I've had I think you mentioned maybe tunnels and stuff. You had what? Of, I've had carpal tunnels because of. You've had carpal tunnels. Yeah, but what I was feeling in my leg and my foot is nothing compared to what that was. Very bad. Yeah. Okay. It was sudden. But it, you had a little bit from having COVID, you think? A little bit. Okay. Probably ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. And that was in February. January, February? Yes. Of 2021? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now go forward to when you had the vaccine? June. June, she had the vaccine of 2021. Yes. And then um, it was about three weeks later, my leg just felt like it was cramped all the time. Felt cramped all the time? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my two toes were twitching. Okay. But. And so right now, walking was, walking was hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's a really active lady. Yes. Uh, in fact, just a side note, she was uh, paddleboarding. Yes. And it's winter <laughs> here in Colorado. I was very impressed. But it's hard to do things. Yeah. And I want to scan down here. So, I mean, so we've already done surgery. We did some surgeries. We did a procedure here and here and one over here and that relieved the symptoms in your leg by how much a lot oh that we said and that's 90 90 percent better yeah. okay so what's remaining for her are just symptoms that are specific to the foot and if you look at both feet you can see can you try to pull your right foot up or your yeah, right one up so she's getting it up a little better than she did before because we did this. But before we did that surgery, I would you know, say that it's not perfect, but it's improved. Yes. Uh, the upward motion, because she had a bit of a drop foot and she still has some drop foot left. Uh, and I may not go into all the details, but she's got a maybe a tight nerve tunnel here. It's called a neuroma. And she, we are thinking that she has what's called tarsal tunnel syndrome, but these are all we never did anything there. We're looking at, we're probably going to be doing surgeries down there too, to open up tight nerve tunnels. So anyway, let's continue, I guess, explaining. Uh, so where do we leave off? In June, July or June, you had the vaccine and three weeks later, you started getting these yeah. symptoms. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you probably thought you were crazy, even... right? Sounds like. I didn't think I was crazy. Oh, you, <laughs> other people thought you were. Okay. You know, I just, I had been paddleboarding and I thought I injured my foot. Right. And walk it off. Right. <laughs> yes. That's what you do. You thought it for that. Was and, that okay? And then I started having like the seizure like activity and my leg would just spasm. Cramp. Okay. Um, and you've seen other doctors. In fact, her primary care doctor you referred you here, didn't yes. she? Yes. Because she's kind of running out of options. Yeah, because nobody wants to say it's related to COVID or the vaccine. Right, right. When, and so I'm just sharing with our audience, we've seen people mm -hmm. with things from the vaccine. And I think, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm filming you, just so people it's real. know that it can be real. And uh, I think you, 
it affected you a little bit emotionally because you know you, you you yourself probably didn't think of it as possibly coming from that and then you've seen some doctors that are mm. kind of going well maybe it could be right yeah and okay. then after the booster shot and then you had your booster then it was like the seizure like activity started again and so you've had two COVID vaccines and a booster yes okay Okay. And how far apart were those? Uh, a week and they were six months apart. Six months apart? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so do you feel like each one, each time you got a little bit worse or not? Oh, yeah. After the booster shot, I was horrible. <laughs> okay. And so I got to ask a fair question. You know what the question is? Why'd you quit? Why'd you keep doing them? did it because I want to believe in science. Okay. But so you just, it's, it kind of- I didn't of, want to get sick again. You dismissed it and you, okay, that's fair. And why would they be giving this to people if it's causing a reaction right. like this? Right, okay. But uh, I guess that's it. I mean, anything else you want to say? I mean, I just want people to, I want your story to be shared, I guess, so people kind of know it. I think it's just fair. And it, it, uh, it's all very date coincidence, I guess, to when you had your vaccines. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, she's seeing a neurologist. The neurologist is not seeing anything else. Is that right? No, I have a perfect brain. What's that? I have a perfect brain. You have a perfect brain, he said? Perfect brain. That's what he said. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice if he says you have a perfect brain. Uh, so he's trying to tell you it's not all in your head. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's yeah. nice. Well, I agree. You're a pretty strong lady, and uh, to be, you know, from going from being very active, and uh, I think people listening, our hearts would go out to you. Thank you. And we appreciate you sharing this, because I know maybe it's not easy to do, but you've done a great job. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And uh, I think it's important that it's be shared, and, and you've been really great to work with, okay? And hopefully we'll get you even better still. Okay. okay, but thank you for sharing. And if you have any questions, folks, comment if you'd like, uh, and we do recommend you subscribe to YouTube, uh, to our YouTube channel. Really appreciate it because we, I think we like to put out a lot of good stuff. I like to teach and, and Kim's helped us with that today. So thank you.